students right this is the main objective now moving towards the next point the next point is the paragraph writing paragraph writing uh students you might be know this particular thing what exactly the paragraph uh, is there and uh, what the exactly the paragraph it is considered one uh, what that means that thing you already know that what is the paragraph you also learn that particular thing in a, you can see that in a, your school time see the point is the once again i am showing here paragraph writing uh first is the what exactly paragraph paragraph it is nothing but one kind of a topic or you can say that one kind of a step for that particular point what you want to explain in that particular point that is the you can say that that particular paragraph now how the paragraph it is considered in the english or any language i am not considering only here i am discussing for the all the things because in every language this particular paragraph it is considered one to start that particular topic now in this particular english language just i'll uh, uh, explain with you the uh, paragraph writing it is nothing but if any book is there which is containing the units or chapters or that book it is considering the essays or that particular whatever the you can see that book it is consider your number of that points or stories and all that thing these all the chapters or essays or that particular um, stories they are having the groups of the sentences which are started with uh, having some sort of the uh, or you can say that divided in the number of sections whatever the stories whatever the uh, that particular essays whatever these particular chapters are there they are started uh, or they are divided in a number of you can see that sections right number of sections and this section whatever the section is that this section it is started from right some sort of the right intended towards that particular in the that point or in that whatever from the uh, whatever written in that particular you can see that unit or c see suppose uh, i am uh, delivering delivering uh, store lecture lecture on the topic on the uh, topic of communication skills like that and so on i am writing the one kind of thing so here i am starting the this particular point or topic some sort of the right okay right of that particular all the sentences right right on that particular all the sentences this particular slightly right this which is started initial from the slightly right from that particular section this is called as the paragraph and this paragraph it is considering the entire the subject of that particular topic in this part that may be 2 3 4 5, 5 sentences 6 sentences or 10 it is not that much long or lengthy topic having the uh, um, so many sentences it is up to 10 to 12 sentences as per my consideration might be some sort of the topic it is having the huge subject or content then it it may be get its increase the length but it is started from the some sort of the right of that particular point so definition of that particular paragraph is the a number of sentences grouped together and relating to one topic see related to the one topic or another that particular definition is the or group of related sentences that develop a single point that develop a single point that means whatever the we are writing that particular point topic right it is having the n number of sentences related only that particular topic 
it is not considered suppose one parallel it is there it is only for that particular topic it is not inserted other topic in that particular paragraph this is nothing but your paragraph right so to write that particular paragraph we have to follow some sort of the principles we have to follow some sort of the principles what the principles are there there are uh, principles are there right we have to follow the principle there are two three principles are there one is the unity second one is the order third one is the variety for third one is the variety these are the some sort of the main principles unity order and variety see unity in the sense the first and most important principle is the unity which is constructing which is used to construct that particular paragraph which is having the uh, only for that particular topic or its idea not having not inserting other point in that particular topic this unity in the sense which is we are built up in the n number of sentences only for that particular topic not considering the other thing that is the unity that is the unity whatever the idea we are considering for that only we are writing the that part right order second principle important principle is the order this is the logical sequence throughout order in the sense we are arranging that particular sentence in a logically sequential or we are developing the that particular subject in the that in that manner that is the order we are not changing the that particular um, subject point in a different different uh, first is the in that particular topic uh, uh, first we are considering one uh, which is related to that again second related to that we are considering orderly we are arranging that particular paragraph and third one is the variety in which it is avoiding the monotony the paragraph composition should be in a different length it should not be always of the same sentence construction monotony we are avoiding one that means whatever the sentence length is it is only for that particular point again considering that sentence we are considering the next one no no we have to consider in the we have to construct the sentences which is rela not related to that first sentence in that topic that means construction not related to to one we are considering the that particular topic having the meaning having the subject but that sentence it is having a different different construction in a different different construction wise this is the you are considering the paragraph so paragraph we can consider for any story any point anything we are considering that may be shorter one that may be larger one likewise we can build the that particular paragraph and such a paragraph it is considered see here i am written here in a, by using the uh, that particular black pen blue pen like that i am considering one for example in the this particular point so such a things can be done one and accordingly we can write the the paragraph the paragraph can be considered for only small topic also say i want to write the paragraph upon a cat so like this by considering the small paragraph which is having the uh, few sentences not that much sentences right but which is related to only cat it is not <laughs> related to the dog it is not related to other thing it is related only cat and according to that we are writing the this particular what we are saying here the story not story paragraph sorry paragraph right this is the related to the how the paragraph writing it is considered part okay uh, next uh, we are considering the point as from this topic as the it is the interesting one story writing next it is the story writing because you might be gone through this particular thing in from your fifth uh, class or in a uh, so school time that means uh, 
third or fourth class also you are written this particular story but in a different language that may be in hindi that may be in marathi might be you are not written uh, in a school time that up to uh, third or fifth uh, sorry fourth standard you are not written this particular story in the in english but uh, fifth onwards might be you are considering this story writing this story writing uh, i just uh, explain the the concept behind it because uh, some educated persons they are planning how to write the story they will think on that thing then they will plan how to write it one and accordingly they will build up the story but some un, i am not saying that uneducated but some people they are not thinking uh, how to they are not planning not thinking instead of they are not planning how to write the story and due to that what happens the main point from this story might be omitted one. might be omitted one in the book they are given that that uneducated person like do this particular thing i am not saying that this is the uneducated person's problem might be some persons uh, they are built up in the story but they are not considering the uh, main uh, some points they are omitting that particular uh, some points and due to that that story it is not become that much you can say that um, a good one excellent one you can say that and to build that particular story in a good manner we have to consider some hints we have to consider some hints right to build the this particular story now first hint is that uh, whenever you are writing any story you have the clear idea about that particular story you have to gain that particular clear idea of that idea about that particular story right this is the one hint second hint is that in exam or whenever you are asked to write the story at that time they are giving the some outlines right we will see the example how that outline it is given you have to study that particular outline you have to go through that particular outline before writing that story be careful about the contents the of that particular points given in the outline naturally be care about that particular outlines if suppose you want to um, write a good story at that time you have to consider some sort of the dialogues but related to that particular outline you have to consider some dialogue or conversations but it again related to that particular story or that particular outlines this is the thing the conclusion of that particular story it is important one and how you are you are going to uh, this particular uh, consider that particular conclusion you have to study the whole story carefully and depending on that you have to write the story uh, not story conclusion which is lead naturally to that particular story and uh, some sort of the uh, bit of surprise things it is giving from that conclusion right so conclusion is also important one and next thing is the if suppose uh, by considering that particular outline if suppose they are asking you uh, supply the headline or title title of that particular story when you are you are considering the title you have to choose the main character of or object uh, character of object or that particular uh, intendant of that particular story or subject of that particular story and then give the right title to that particular story remember that thing character of that particular object or story or that particular subject outline uh, whatever the given you have to read in that manner and whatever the story it is incident of that particular story it is considered depending on that you have to give the title or heading then you have to see the that your composition where it is in a grammatical manner and 
in a good simple english these thing these hints you have to consider on these are the some of the hints while writing the story right this is the you can see that concept or part it is considered for the writing the story now uh, i am given giving the some uh, small example you already uh, know that particular because in school time you are uh, uh, you might be written this particular story for many times that particular story is the uh, title of that story is the the boy the boy who cried cried or that particular uh, wolf hmm? this is the it is a story title is there the boy who cried wolf right uh, you can say that the boy and the wolf that story you are written in the in school time so they are given uh the outline as the boy said to guard the sheep told to carry a uh, wolf uh, if he sees the wolf near the fold watch the sheep for several days then get tired then he that means like that they are given these particular outlines right get uh, tired then uh, so one day Uh, sh shouts wolf as a joke. All villagers hasten to his help. They find no wolf. Boy laughs on the villagers when they came. Then villagers angry. Plays the same jokes. Few days later, some villagers take no notice. Some came running, finding nothing. they beat this boy at last really wolf comes boy is again uh, terrified and shout and uh, shouts wolf pool but villagers they are not uh, they are not notice this shout and wolf kills the several sheep so by considering this particular points you have to write the entire story i written here for example this particular story but here just said that you know this particular story i am not going to uh, say entire story here but how they are giving the uh, the outline and by considering that outline how we have to write this story just i said here so go through this particular points and uh, write the story for this particular outline and write the exact heading or title for this particular story so this this is the sum of the things related to the story writing so already i said you how to consider what exactly story is there and then uh, the hints i already shared with you and how the outline they are they, they will provide and by using the outline you can write the story so if any doubt from these three points from this topic right uh, you can uh, write a mail to me uh, uh, once again i am writing this particular mail id sachin kupade at the rate gmail.com you just share me your doubts on this uh, on this particular mail so i will uh, again reply on this i uh, divert you that mail with the reply and uh, uh, if you are having queries that particular thing can be cleared one thank you uh, study well uh, in uh, in within two few days i will share entire notes for this particular topic so that it will be help you people to study in a proper manner once again thank you and take care and study well use your time to spend on this particular time because uh, you do during days only you can get the uh, more time to study properly thank you guys once again